About a year before Maddox passed, uh, my grandfather moved in with us. My wife, Megan, and I became his caregiver. Grandpa and Maddox were extremely close. Maddox would run in and sneak ice creams to Grandpa. Anytime we'd come home from being gone as we'd come in, and Maddox would, first thing he would do, Grandpa, we're home. When Maddox passed away, Grandpa was completely devastated. A week after Maddox passed, Grandpa walked out of his room and collapsed. Immediately we called 911. We were doing CPR with them. Yeah, the ambulance got here and rushed him to the hospital. When we got to the hospital, the doctor told us that Grandpa had passed. I believe my grandfather died of a broken heart. Well, I have Dr. John White here today. He's Chief Medical Officer of WebMD, and he's written a book called Take Control of Your Heart Disease Risk. And we're talking about something that doctors don't talk about very often because, frankly, it's complex and it takes time, and that's how mental health impacts your heart. And Megan says, just like her husband Tyler, she's been struggling with her emotions, of course, uh, and having heart issues since losing their son Maddox. At this point, I'm really concerned for my wife, Megan. With all the stress of losing our five-year-old son, Maddox, I've been struggling with anxiety and depression, panic attacks. I've been having really bad chest pains, sometimes unbearable. My heart races. I just have this constant pain in my chest, and it just feels so heavy. My chest pains have been so bad, I've gone to the emergency room a couple times. But the crazy thing is the EKG doesn't show anything wrong. I feel like no one understands what it feels like to go through this grief. I just pray one day I can feel normal again, but I don't know when or if that can happen. I don't even think it's possible. Megan, I think you're right. Um, normal is in your rearview mirror because of what you two have been through. You, you're not ever going to feel the way you did before these losses that you've been through, certainly the, the Maddox loss. So that means that part of your life is of what you call normal is gone. So that means you have to create a new normal. And that new normal is with Maddox as a memory, Maddox as a relationship that you, you have that's spiritual, not physical, that you commit to keeping alive by talking about him and having pictures and talking about him at holidays and Christmas and around the table and making sure that the children never forget him and all, all of those things. It's a new normal. We gotta be there for our kids. It's, right. There's no other option. You've got to find a way, and you've got to take care of yourself, and you've got to take care of yourself. And that can be done, right? But you, to do that, you've got to manage the emotions. That's right, and self-care is probably the last thing that you want to talk about right now, to take care of yourself. And people forget that 12% of first heart attacks are fatal. People don't survive. So if you don't start trying to address the issues of depression and anxiety, that's going to increase your risk. One of the things that depression does that people don't talk enough about is it actually changes the way our platelets work. And platelets are, are good because they help with clotting, right? But when they clot at the wrong time, that's when people have a heart attack. And, and that's what I'm concerned about, the risk that you're having for yourselves because you want to be around for your children. But if you don't start to take care of yourself, it's going to add up over time, as you and I have talked often about. It's those daily choices over time. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.